You know, I just saw something pop up, you know, um, that, that sort of took me here to the place where, you know, I see, I keep seeing that black women are talking about that they don't, uh, they don't follow because black men don't know how to lead. And it's so, first of all, ahistorical. When you think about the calamity or you think about the politics in terms of how society has turned into what it is and the gynocracy of the black community, which puts um, the powers that be have granted black women ultimate authority over said community as long as they themselves don't step out of line with said, you know, the powers that be. But I want to speak more so to the point where black women talk about the black men can't lead. It's kind of hard to lead when you have, when the people, the subjects, the people that are supposed to be under your leadership are in constant rebellion of your leadership. It's hard to lead when those people, said people, feel as though they can challenge you for the leadership at any given time. It's hard to lead when you have a group of women who are comfortable in their masculine frame, who consistently see their men as competition, who consistently see their men as being less than they are, who consistently are always using metric to compare themselves to their men. When, think about it, it's not a good faith analysis. When you look at the precepts for a lot of our women, they want to come into spaces, into places where men generally are having masculine discussions, using masculine energy in their masculine frame. A lot of our women want to go into those places and they want to sit their nuts on the table with the men and they believe as though they should be able to have these conversations in said places with these said men, but they're supposed to be treated like a lady. All the while exuding their masculine frame, veins popping out of their necks, language uh, befit of a sailor that's been at sea for years at a time, and then still they're saying as ladies, they want to be around men that will allow them to rest in their feminine energy. Well, ladies, I have a question for you. How is it you want to be around men that can allow you to rest in your feminine energy when you're more comfortable in your masculine energy?